And it's a bit of a pity. But you know what? I do have someone absolutely marvellous sitting right in front of me. It's Helen from the View Club, the Windsor-Richmond View Club. And you're another one, Helen, that I've been trying to catch up with for <laughs> some very long time. But you're too busy gallivanting around the place, aren't you? Good morning, Catherine. Good yes, morning. I'm pretty elusive. You know, yes. You've got to pin me down. <laughs> okay. I, I've got to remember this so next time I need you to come in that I, I put out an invitation and uh, get into your diary, I think. That's what I need to get into. <laughs> okay, the View Club's been around for a very long time. I've heard of the View Club forever, okay? Right. Mm-hmm. But I think what people don't realise is that the View Club is um, in the Hawkesbury. Uh, you're in the Windsor-Richmond View Club. Is there another View Club in the Hawkesbury oh, as well? Not in the Hawkesbury. Right, no, so no. this we, is the Hawkesbury one? We are specifically Richmond-Windsor. Yep. Yes, we have sister clubs at Springwood and um, Lithgow and Penrith. Yep. Yep. It's quite a big organisation. Yeah, well, um, I know it is because I think that the View Club has been around for an extremely long time. Do you know how long it's been around yes, for, roughly? Yes, it was established in 1960. It's there you na- go. nationwide, yep. non-religious. Non- Should have been established in 1961. 1961? Yeah. Is that specific, is it? It is to me. It's my birth year. Oh, well. So that's why I'm saying that. would have made it extra special. (laughs) Yes, that's right. But 1960, I'll wear 1960. That's okay. All right. So what I want to know first of is what does VIEW stand for? Um, It's, well, it's a unique organisation. Yeah. It's the voice, interests and education of women. When it was first established, it was the voice, interests and uh, entertainment of women. Okay. But they decided to change it because it started to take, with the lovely ladies that originally started it off, mm. a particular um, avenue. Mm. And yeah. uh, education of women is something they still pursue. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So do you, in that education of women then, Helen, what do you do? Do you have speakers come in? We do. Or? We have yeah. monthly meetings and um, we have um, some wonderful guest speakers. Um, I could give you a list. I've actually written it down. We get legal advice, yeah. which tells us about our oh, powers of attorney and Very uh, things like that. The ladies, which are usually senior ladies that join The View, um, it's just handy to have that sort of information. Yeah. Um, we've had um, people from the local constabulary come lovely lass who was very intent on teaching us about all the scams we need to avoid because there's a lot of scams out there and of course our generation very susceptible a lot yes. of lonely ladies on their own yes uh, who might get looped in by somebody unsavory yep. so all the things we need to know about that um We've had a chap here who was local about beekeeping. I love beekeeping. Oh, beekeeping. He was brilliant. Brought some of his honey with us. Oh, really? With with him. That was a bonus. It was was wonderful. That was a sweet talk. Yeah, but, oh, well, it was. And he was a sweetie too. So he did very well when when our group... No sticky situations with him? (laughs) No. I'm just being really bad at the moment. No, he he buzzed off and then, you know... (laughs) Okay, you're joining in with me on the bed. Good on you. That's right. We also had some lovely lasses come and talk to us about health. Yeah. Uh, because that's something else that's pertinent. Um, with diet and exercise and things and things we need to be aware of. Um, programs available for seniors that uh, there's lots of government assistance out there for the yes. seniors. In there, and a lot of ladies are just simply not aware. They don't know. So we have um, different ones that come along yeah. and talk to us about that. Yeah. Oh, and one of our top ones a few months ago, we had some lovely chaps come along from the local fire brigade. Yeah. Um, who gave us a talk about fire safety and That's the importance good. of having uh, smoke alarms still yeah. making sure they're functioning. Actually, they do do a program where they come into people's homes and they do assist um, mm. to make sure that everybody's properly, you know, looked mm. after. But no, we, we when I say education of women, it's just things that you sort of need to know. Mm. And So, I'm sorry for interrupting you, but mm. um, I just wanted to ask you, when you talk about senior women, is there an age that uh, VIEW is open to what age group? Oh, well, we, we would love to have some, some new recruits, actually. Yes. We're a voluntary organisation, and as with a lot of cases with voluntary pe- mm-hmm. uh, organisations, getting some newcomers is a bit of a... Uh, a problem yes. these days. But no, it's usually ladies that have worked or got to the 50-ish mark and yep. decided they've still very highly functioning and want yep. to do something worthwhile and direct themselves into something positive like yep. you. Um, 
But we're finding well before COVID, in our particular case, our, our membership was just a little under the sixty mark. We, okay, uh, it's quite good though. It was, but mm. but but COVID was devastating. Yeah, we're we're now a little under the forty mark. Oh, okay, you know, with natural yeah. attrition, as I call it. Yeah, uh, and different ones that um, have been unable to come shifted yeah. to be closer to family and yeah. thing like that. So new recruits is something we're always looking for because it is such a wonderful thing to yeah. become involved with. Yeah. So the thing is, like, with the group recruiting, like, is there a cost to be in the VIEW Club? No, I think there's a joining fee, yep, which I okay. think is about 20 bucks or something like yeah, that. I okay. think. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, but once once that, and of course we meet once a month. So Where do you meet? At the Richmond Club. Oh, okay. They've always been very um, helpful yeah. with us and um, they know we do good work because it, it's basically what we're doing is helping disadvantaged children. Yeah, in the okay. community. How's that? And under me. the under the umbrella of the Smith family. Yes. Now I'm sure everybody's watched their television and seen those really sad little ads where the child yes. uh, is the odd one out because unable to attend school yeah. excursions, yep. unable to wear the proper uniform, yep. unable to have the right equipment. Well, that's where we step in. Now Richmond Winds of View supports five children. Wow. Yes, we support five, which is not bad for the group our size. Yeah. Um but you, you've got to magnify this over a nationwide. There are about twenty two thousand ladies in view nationwide. Wow, that's There's a about lot of four thousand clubs yeah. nationwide. Yeah. So that's an awful lot of children that our help yeah. filters down to. Yeah. But I think it's great that you help um, the children. But it's just what you have there when you talk about education. They're so very pertinent for what really we don't get to see or have a lot of. Like as you mentioned, that scamming. I mean, that's getting on the increase. That and oh, well, it's and so important. And so, I was going to say we're all vulnerable, and I think yeah. the older ones that probably aren't as au fait with them. Um, Technology. I mean, yes. I'm speaking personally, I can vouch for that. Yep. Um, yes, they're very vulnerable and mm. they can get um, taken in, especially if you're home and you're own, on your own and you're a bit lonely yeah. and yeah. somebody, you know, presses the right button. So, mm. yes, it's very worthwhile to have these things. And, of course, as the lady constable that came to our youth club said, it's an unreported crime Yeah, because the lady that's been scammed mm. is embarrassed about it. Mm. So it's something that she probably won't Isn't that sad? About. It's dreadful. It's dreadful and very sad. But no, it's just something that's also on the increase. And um, as she said, as soon as they want money, hang up. (laughs) But I just, I think it's sad that, you know, you get hooked up into a scam and then you get so nervous Mm. to say anything in fear of judgment or something. Oh, how could you be so stupid? I I mean, it's so easy. I saw Mm. one Mm. on Facebook the other day and this person was saying, uh, does anyone have any trees they need sawed up? Right mm-hmm. by chainsaw, mm-hmm. and I'm thinking, oh, you've got a great big up one up the back. Need that done? I went, yes, please. And they said, oh, good, because we're going around and doing mm-hmm. chainsawing just to to check. You know, he wants mm-hmm. to practice. Mm-hmm. And I thought, all oh, right, I look, got a little bit like, you know, hmm, don't know about this one. He said, um, it's just a part of the course I'm doing for the SES, mm-hmm. right? So right. Pop said something to validate. And I went, oh, well, you know, yeah, sure, it's up the back, you know. Oh, you got a picture? Yeah, no worries. Going a picture of up the back was just a tree falling down. And uh, then he said, so when are you home? Bingo. Oh, okay. <laughs> just trying to work out when I'm mm. home because mm. as soon as I say, oh, I'm home, blah, blah, mm. he would know when to come to my place. That's right. They're so subtle, aren't yeah. they? they? So really subtle, subtle. Mm. you know. And so when I said, oh, I'm home all the time, it's funny, I never got an answer. Mm, yeah. That's right. You, but this is what, and it's not stupid though, Helen. It's mm. just this. It's not that they're plaguing on us, mm, mm. which is awful. I know it. It is awful, and mm. um, like I said, a really vulnerable sector mm. of the community are the ones that everyone's sort of. Uh, they were talking about the new one out is, uh, you get a message through on your phone like, oh, mum. I'm at the shops and I've forgotten my card or I've lost my card. Can you send me, you know? Yeah. Um, that sort of thing. So there's yeah. been a huge percentage of, well, naturally, if mum gets that, she wants to respond and do it. But, yeah, yes. and then they realise afterwards they've been yes. caught. Mm. Yeah. No, very, very sad. So tell me, with the View Club, do you uh, you, you meet at the cl- at the Richmond Club? And thank you very much to the Richmond Club. They also oh, do marvelous. a lot of wonderful, hosting wonderful a lot of community yeah. things. Yeah. But um, do you ever go out on, like... Um, Excursions? Yes. yes. Well, things. we're a fun club as well. Yes. Can I just say that we meet at the Richmond, Richmond Club on the um, second Wednesday of no, the month? No, you can't say Every, that. Oh, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> 
11 in the morning, do come. Um, yes, and we have our meeting. Yes. And we recap all the things that we've that's happened in the past yeah. month and we need to know. And um, then, of course, uh, we have our speaker and there's some fun things happen. We have um, lucky door prizes and all the ladies uh, just enjoy being together. When you mm. get a bunch of su- senior ladies, I, I often stand at the door and just listen to the level of conversation. Yeah. It, it's just riotous because everybody's meeting everybody they haven't seen from the month that's before wonderful. and doing catch-ups. Um, yes, well, we, we do have things uh, like um, we have lunch there that day usually yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, we just had a lovely Christmas in July. Oh. last and oh. Thank you to the club again. It was yes. really superb. But we usually have at least a monthly lunch and date somewhere around in the local area. Okay. Um, we do have the occasional outings where they have theatre group where they go and see what's on at the local. Mm-hmm. Um, once upon a time we used to be able to get our hands off a bus and off a um, Larger outings, um, yeah. but that's become a bit more restricted. Now and how many do you need that to seat? Oh, probably about twenty. Yeah, uh, to make it viable. I'm and sure there would be a bus company out in this area that is yes. listening in at the moment that would love oh, to I help. Know. The Please view step club. up. Yes, do do yes. contact us at any time because yes. we'd love to talk about how good they are to the view club, wouldn't we, Helen? Oh if yes, they yes. Stepped oh up. yes, yes, yes. I yes. could talk a lot. Um, but we do have other activities like we've got a fashion parade coming up in September. Oh, wonderful! Yes. Um, and uh, we do raise funds because that's why we're there, because mm. we need to get the money to support our, our children. That's right. Um, and I don't know if you've ever noticed at the local Richmond um, shops, they have a wrapping table now. Yes. With, particularly at Christmas, that's yes. that's where a lot of our funds come yeah. in. Um, that's uh, in the marketplace? In the marketplace, yep, yes. Yep. So Mother's Day. Yeah. Oh, Valentine's Day too is also yeah, taken. So good. Valentine's Day, uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Do you do much on Christmas. Father's Day? Um, Mother's Day is bigger. Yeah, I would think so. so. I think Dad might just get his in a brown paper bag sometimes, <laughs> you know. But Mum, they, everyone wants to go to a lot of trouble to yeah. give Mum something really pretty. Yeah. So, yes, and for a gold coin donation, the ladies will be there and they will produce something just beautifully Wonderful. wrapped for you. Yep. And it's amazing um, the generosity of the public when they realise, you know, mm. what, who we are and what we're doing and what the money is being raised for. People yeah. usually come in and wrap. My Christmas presents. Oh, do they? Yes, I'm so <laughs> shocking at wrapping. So I have five children. Oh, God. Yeah, they're all grown and, you know, doing mm, their own thing mm. in life. But I have now six, seven, eight grandchildren, two more coming. Um, and uh, when I used to do all the kids' presents, right, and I'd get in and I'd wrap mm. them all, my next door neighbour would come in and she'd go, Oh, you do a disgraceful job at wrapping. And I said, well, if you're so good, you do it. So I'd sit there, drink a wine, and she'd wrap all my presents. Oh, it was a wonderful arrangement. <laughs> She doesn't do it anymore. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Worked a few years. <laughs> yes. Well, some, some people are talented that way. I'm not. Mm. I'm not. I usually mm. get myself stuck up with sticky tape. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Yep. Um, could I just also say that um, the View Club has a hierarchy and mm. um, I've got it here in the Gospel. Yes. There, you know. Yes. And we do often get asked things and our views on um, – Community things that yeah. uh, we have input for. I mean, I can remember many years ago when we were being asked about, um, well, I was told, it was a bit before my time, seatbelts. Mm-hmm. There weren't always seatbelts in cars. That was a community response to about seatbelts. Another thing was, um, you know, when you're going down the highway and you've got the cat's eyes in the road mm. or high visibility, mm. yes, we were asked about that. So we get asked about things. A lot of things we get asked about now, of course, is unfortunately DV and which mm. way um, the club's thinking the best way to support families and yeah. women that are in that situation. So we do um, have input into, I would say, community affairs, yes. put it that way. Yeah, yeah so sure. that's something that we, we're grassroots, of course, so if they yeah. want to get an honest answer, ask us. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm not asking you anything. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Have you enjoyed your chat? I was going to say, yes, it's been lovely. Oh, yeah. okay, fine. That was, I was sort of a little bit tender. You're okay, I was you? going to say, I'm sort of, I'm sort of unwound. A little. I was very wound when I walked in, but yes, yeah. I'm a little bit unwound now. Are you? Okay. Yeah, but I was going to say the main main thing is do come along, do come along. We're after yeah. some new recruits and yeah. like I said, um, it's a fun thing. The yeah. ladies really have a ball yeah. and uh, we, we, we'd love to build our membership up yeah. more. Yeah. So do come along to the Richmond Club. 
in yes, second I Wednesday got that. of any 11 month. Eleven a.m. Wednesday. Yes, that's what, right. What? Second Wednesday. Second, second Wednesday, Wednesday of the month. Sorry. Yes. Second yes. Wednesday of the month at the Richmond Club, and you'll be guaranteed to meet a lovely bunch of women. Oh gosh, yes. I'm just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. <clears> well, you know, you meet <laughs> Helen. There you go. You're in for it, right? <laughs> so no, that's absolute. Look. Honestly, thank you so much for coming along and having a chat. I know oh. it can be daunting walking in and thinking you're going to be on radio mm-hmm. and everything, but, mm-hmm. um, you know, it's uh, very important really for the community to hear mm. firsthand what is actually there. And unfortunately what happens is that, you know, if you lose, um, you know, your other half, you can get lost and before you know it, you can isolate yourself. Oh, that can happen. That can yeah. happen. But this is a wonderful way for ladies to get together with like-minded ladies and um, ha- really have a fun time and do mm. a lot of good in the community. Yeah. I mean, the Richmond Windsor Club, we've been going for 55 years. Yeah. So I'm the last in a long, long line of wonderful ladies that have yeah. uh, devoted a lot of time yeah. and effort. How long have you been in it? Oh, I'm about 13 years. Wow. I'm a newcomer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. We had the wonderful, I don't know if you know, Audrey Blood. She was one of our doyens, no, yes. No. And we've got some OAMs that have just yeah. um, wonderful ladies that have really yeah. given a lot of time and effort yeah. to help our club establish yeah. and do well. Yeah. So, yes, do come along. Do yeah. come along. We, we appreciate your input. There mm. you go, everyone. You've heard it and you've heard it here at Pulse 89.9. We're going to go to a little bit of a break and we thank Helen for coming along from the Richmond Windsor, well, the Hawks Review Club, really. And it meets, of course, on the second Wednesday at uh, 10, 11 a.m. in the Richmond Club. And you can have a bit of lunch if you want. But do you know what? Why don't you get out and just have a bit of a go and look around? Because it's about... Being in these communities, which we know so much through all the times that we've been through, the floods and the fires and everything that we have, that we come together so well. This is another opportunity to come together and to be involved. That's it, to be involved. You're with Catherine Jean and, of course, it's in topic here on Pulse 89.9. Only... <laughs> 